All right, what's good? It's your stepfather, Ron Effect, back with another New York Giants post-game video, another L. Uh, all right, we're going to start. We're, we're going to start. I don't even know what the f*** to say, bro. Of course, I have a flashback to, like, that Jake Elliott moment. This his longest was 59 yarders back in 2011. Now all of a sudden, seven years later, motherfucker can get, hit another extra four yards. He ain't never gonna hit another 63 yarder ever again. Just like Jake Elliott. Jake Elliott never hit another 61 yarder ever in his career or even close to that. Graham Gano is not gonna hit anything close to that anymore. Like, I, I doubt it. I could be wrong, but yeah. Of course, of course he has his career long. For 63 yarders since when? Since when? I thought, like... Players like Sebastian Janikowski were only players who would kick that deep. He had space, too. He had space, too. They out here piss-testing OBJ in the previous weeks multiple times where he had to tweet about it, telling these guys, hey, guys, you're taking away from my meeting and practice time for all these piss-tests. They should be piss-testing these kickers. <sighs> Eli, man, you're really setting back your team, man. You're really setting back the team, Eli. I'm sorry. It would be wrong of me not to say it. Like the two, and he had no inter. You had one interception, one interception coming to this game, which wasn't even your fault. During the Jacksonville game, the tip, and then you know the pick six, and then coming to this game, that was your only interception. He had two of them this game. Uh, it's kind of like a chain reaction, though. It's kind of like, oh, if this event didn't happen, would this would have happened? Because you know Cam Newton threw his picks or whatever. Fuck. Oh my. God. I'm not trying to think of, like, everything to get out. I take notes every game to break down. Like, you saw that shit. I don't even know why I take notes to break down the whole game. Oh, the refs was on the bull too, bro. The refs are being the pieces of shit they are. You serious on uh, Landon Collins or whoever they call it on Thomas? Saying the unnecessary roughness? Are you shitting me? They were both going for the ball. Landon went to the ball, obviously, because he didn't even see the wide receiver he was covering. He just went for the ball, batted it away. And then for Michael Thomas, he was leading with his arms first. His arms were the first thing to touch the wide receiver and their helmets just happen to touch and it's unnecessary roughness like are you fucking serious also what else happened uh it was a holding i had to scream at the tv holding that's how long it took the rest of the uh call the flag well, i guess on carrie win whoever was holding carrie win and then afterwards of course they do their little uh throw you know like the rest look they did like that oh freaking unnecessary uh roughness on the quarterback bro I love how they call it unnecessary roughness. They call it unnecessary roughness on these quarterbacks, but when they tuck it and run, they fall fullback mode. It's all, oh, you hit the quarterback in a certain way, so, uh, oh, yeah, call the hospital. Uh, uh, oh, and then get the flag. But when it's, oh, it's time to scramble, y'all locked and loaded like I one of the world's greatest running backs. Okay, that's how it goes. Maybe that's how we should get some wins for the rest of the season. Hey, uh, offensive line, let them come in. Eli, when you get hit, you better act like you just got hit by a train. You better act like this guy hit by a train, get us those easy 15 yards. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that will work. Like, this game was so... Oh, everybody was on it except for Eli, bro. I ain't gonna even go that far See anybody was on it except for Eli. I ain't gonna even go that far. It's like... Uh, and it's also the halves to it, too. Like, I even thought of that at halftime. I'm like, yo, let's hope they turn around and be that better half team. Because throughout all these games, you the Giants are either good at one half or the other. Like, oh, they're good in the first half, and then they downcline, or they're sucky in the first half, and then they go uphill. And that's exactly what happened. I'm trying to think of all the scores. I still can't. 63 yards? It's always a 60-plus yard kick. Always. People on that bullshit, bro. Oh, the Giants going to always have a bullshit. You did not believe that shit. Get the f*** out of here. Oh, 0 and 7. They go, oh, see, y'all's on that bullshit, bro. Y'all was on that bullshit. This was a totally winnable game, bro. The only games out of the first seven, I know, the first seven games are tough. The only few that were kind of unwinnable, I'm going to say unwinnable, any team can freaking win. I'm just saying that was in favor of the other team because of their talent. The Jaguars, okay, cool. The Saints, that's fine. We ain't going to be, uh, beat the freaking Eagles. No way. Because Eli's not going to have that same fire. That's what I was going to say, too. Eli, you don't have that same fire as your other teammates, bro. You've been doing this for 15 seasons. This is your 15th season. You don't have that same fire as Saquon. You don't have that same fire as Odell. Sterling has that fire, too, which was ironic. He was getting pissed off. I don't know. What is, why is there miscommunication? Why is there miscommunication? Wait, what are y'all doing in these practice rooms? How do y'all know? You're the offense. You know. You know what route's supposed to be this. How is there miscommunication? How? How 
how is there a miscommunication? How do you think? How is the wire receiver over here? How is Shep over here? But you're throwing over here, Eli. And you're throwing to the same person. You're throwing to Adams. And how is the same person getting in pickle on you every time? On different sides of the field. Is he really that good? Somebody tell me that Adams is that good. That safety. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Unbelievable. What are we now? One and four? It don't even sound that bad, but the Giants would have to go to run. Like, how about this? This might sound dumb. I always think of this, I always think of losses as lives. You ever play Mario, any game where, oh, you get three lives or whatever? We're losing. We got about two lives left. We get six. Yeah, two lives left. We got to get six losses, we're out. Well, you still make it, but it depends on how the Eagles do, Cowboys do. They have to lose with us. That's the only way. If the Eagles keep winning, Cowboys, Redskins keep winning, freaking, yeah, we're out of it. I told you, I'm not losing hope until Scott Hanson says, oh, the Giants are mathematically eliminated from playoff contention. Okay. And people really want to break my hope, man. People, I don't know what is with y'all. I don't know what. I saw this quote on Twitter the other day. It's like, you ever think about this? In someone else's story, you're the villain. Am I the villain in your story? For some reason, y'all want my hope to be broken. Oh, delusional, the Giants ain't going to win this game. The Giants ain't make the playoffs. Oh, because it is. Eli is that. Da -da -da. I'm trying to leave hope as a fan to see this team win. I like the team. My favorite team. I love the team. Want to see them win. Want to see them do good. So I have faith because nobody knows what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure that no one thought the Browns were going to win this early, but they did. What other teams out there? I'm pretty sure none of y'all thought the Chiefs are be 5-0. What other shockers that are going on in the NFL? The Dolphins will be whatever they are. I don't know. I think they were le they're leading the AFC East or were. Like, you don't know what's going to happen in a season. And if somebody tells me that Barkley was the wrong choice, you know, I ain't going to say that. Oh, uh, look at this guy. He wants to be a tough guy over the internet. All uh, right, next time I'm at training camp, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Oh, I'm this guy from YouTube. Uh, 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 introduce yourself. Now, because I'm always at every Giants event. Tell me this stuff to my face so I can embarrass you in front of everybody. All this dumb stuff that y'all say. Oh, it's Barkley. Oh, Barkley is playing way better than a damn rookie. He is already a veteran in the game. But y'all over here stressing over Sam Darnold. Oh, Sam Darnold. I'm not even, not even Sam Darnold anymore. Because now you're seeing Josh Rosen, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, all of them doing crap. Uh, Sam Darnold, all of them doing crap. And now Baker Mayfield is playing up to par for the Browns only because Tyrod Taylor got hurt. Y'all seen that tank? Y'all yeah, seen all types of dumb stuff. Well, that was before. I haven't looked at the comments in like freaking four videos. Last time I looked at the comments, I think it was the Saints post game. I looked at one comment. They know who they are. They know what they said or whatever. But yeah, I ain't gonna say what comment that I replied to. I'm losing my voice. I don't give a no. Oh my God. I feel bad for the players, bro. Like every play. I feel bad for OBJ, Sterling, the defense, the defense. Oh. Because they were trying, bro. I know they were trying. I know they were trying. Because going into this game, I was questioning it. I was questioning it. I was like, yo. I like, they don't really try. This. <sighs> also, before the game, I had to see Lil Wayne. I don't know why Lil Wayne was up there, but I like Lil Wayne, whatever. Lil Wayne, OBJ. Oh, those interviews are a setup, OBJ. Don't fall for that stuff. I know you're real. I know you don't fall for that. Oh, do you like being in here in New York? Oh, what do you think is uh, the reason? Oh, it is Eli Manning. They setting you up, bro. They setting you up with those questions. They are setting you up. <sighs> I, can, I can see everything changing right now. If the Giants would have won this game, everybody be kissing right now. Oh, OBJ. Oh, that's another. Eli, you should be embarrassed, bro. That freaking uh, wide receiver freaking. um. This is out of love, bro. I'm being honest. This is out of love. Freaking that wide receiver. Uh, you do it to... I, you threw it to OBJ, he launched it down to Saquon. When I saw it, I almost felt like I was the I was on the Panther side. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even really celebrating. I'm like, that's how we got our touchdown? Like, are you serious? Like, and that was accurate too. Like, he he put it. I feel like if you if Eli would have threw it, it would have been like inaccurate. That's why I like And it's a short day, too. For, so say Sunday, yeah, Sunday, four days from now, I take on the Eagles on Thursday night football. Best believe there are going to be more Eagles fans in them stands than Giants fans. Because you know how, you know, you're going to hear that fly, Eagles fly thing or whatever. I don't see the Giants. I said, 
I said I was going to drink apple cider vinegar or whatever, three shots at the Giants would win this game. I had it on ice. Somebody on Twitter is like, yo, Ron, make sure you have it on ice or whatever before the game. You know, that's nothing I'm not tweeting either because, no, you bums come out or whatever. And I didn't want to freaking get my Twitter. I didn't want to say something that is the automatic ticket to hell. Like, I would tweet something because I had them prepared too. Because I was in my mind, I was like, yo, somebody tweet me something crazy, bro. I'm going to say something that when I die, God be like, Ron, I can't see you to heaven. You said this. It shows me my tweet. And I'm going to be able to fight it. I'm like, you're right. I did say that. And there's nothing I could because it'll be that effed up. See, he's a, no, no, I ain't going. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to chill out. I just don't like when people, like, purposely try to piss you off. Bro. I don't like people like that. They try to get it, like, not as, like, you know, taking shots, joking with you. Like, they, I don't know. People are insane. People like to see others miserable for their fun until stuff gets real. Until life gets real, then it's, I was just joking, bro. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Cam Newton dodged a bullet. He freaking fumbled or whatever. Curtis Riley uh, recovered it, but his foot was out of bounds. Not a big deal. You know, it's, hey, it happens. Oh, in the beginning, the punt return thing, OBJ was a little bit extra. Oh, my. I couldn't believe that happened. I couldn't believe that happened where, you know, the punt, they were about to pin the Giants inside the five, and then he ran over there, hit his leg, and then turned into a touchdown. There's another flag in here, bro. I can't think, think about it. Oh, mid-third quarter, they were about to punt it. It was fourth and eight. Kareem Martin jumped off sides, turned into a fourth and three. Also, you know what? I just had a flashback to towards the end of the game. How long is this video? Whatever. A flashback to in, uh, towards the end of the game. It was what? Oh, we're trying to get to field goal position. He didn't make it. Rewatch it. But ain't like, see, this is the thing about football, bro. Like, they can't stop the clock and all that because it affects the game. It was 31. I don't think Christian McCaffrey made it. Like, they need to look at it. There's nothing they can do now. They're still going to get the win. I don't think he made it, Ryan. You're just saying that as a Giants fan. No, no, no. That would have been like fourth and inches, bro. Fourth and eight, on the thing it still said fourth and one, two on the screen. Because I was about to tweet, I was like, yo, did they just spike it on fourth and one? Like, and I would have like, yo, that's game. They just spiked it on fourth and one. But no, they just gave it to them. They hurried up the play or whatever. And then, oh, the Giants deserve, well, did you, well the Giants deserve that win. <laughs> uh, everybody on the team, everybody on the team, but Eli, like what? Also, why is it with the blocking? Bro, the freaking Panthers were coming in hot and heavy in the first half. And then the second half, Eli has so much time to throw. Why can't we be consistent for four quarters? This will definitely be a miracle season if the Giants turn this around. Not even the Giants. If Eli turns this around. I'm being, I, I keep it. I'll be honest with you, bro. I got to be honest with you. It's like, it, just play a normal game. Like, according to your statistics, you know, oh, the interceptions are low. Oh, this many. Oh, Eli, this, that. You know, getting that. But you, the interceptions, bro. The interceptions. You always throw them at the wrong time. Throw an interception when we're up by three touchdowns. Like, why isn't the chemistry there? Call me crazy. Call me crazy if you want. I feel like Odell, Saquon, Shep, they all got shouts to Russell Shepard, too. He, he, there were some mistakes, too, that weren't on Eli. There were some mistakes like, oh, uh, I think it was like a fourth and short where, like, you know, it, it dropped off of Beckham's hands. There's another one for Russell Shepard where there's also, like, a false start, too. But um, why I feel like, oh, Saquon, Sterling, OBJ, they have that chemistry on offense, but, like, Eli's not in the mix as well. Like, I, I don't know. <sighs> Let's say secretly. All right. I know there's a lot of people that want to see Eli go on over Toddy Eli. Blah, blah, blah. I know some people feel that way. It's about what we have now. It's about what we have now. That's what I'm just saying. How about I'm saying this? Also, I'm saying this now. If the Giants get eliminated from playoff contention, whatever, give, yeah, it'll be time to give Kyle Lillard or whoever the next shot. For like, for what? Or I, I don't know. I'm not a coach. I'm just saying. Like, I'm thinking about the future now. Well, not the future now. But I'm just saying, oh, it's, coming, it's coming down to the quarterback, bro. Remember all the people, oh, guys, I'm, I'm sure you've heard this, you know, Giants fans, oh, well, Eli got two Super Bowl rings, ah, da, da, and people will hit you back with, oh, the defense got him them rings? Oh, so you're telling me Eli's been like this forever. Eli's been like this his whole career, and he, he managed to squeeze out two Super Bowl rings because of the defenses he had. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. 
Like, also, like, uh, Super Bowl teams don't have good defenses. Super Bowl 50. Freaking Peyton Manning didn't have Bon Miller, Tlaib, Chris Harris, and all them. Fre c come on, stop it. Stop it. For, oh, for the Seahawks, the words Legion of Boom don't mean nothing to you? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, right. <sighs> Eli, you gotta be better, bro. I'm not, like, doing the pointing fingers thing. I'm just saying. There's plays in the game. Like, there's some stuff you can't do. Oh, see what taking shots down the field does? And on the freaking radio, yo, this video's about to be hella long. On the freaking radio station, what, yesterday, W Fan, whatever it is, to the, I'm start listening to it more. Freaking, oh, people wanna say, uh, oh, get aggressive, take shots down, this is Eli's voice. People say, oh, get aggressive, take shots down, field. No, 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 no. You gotta, what'd you say? You gotta take what the defense gives you? What? What do you mean, take what the, no, you run the offense. You take from them. You bully them. You don't take what they give you. What? What do you mean? Take more shots down, field. OBJ got his touchdown, and they defensive pass and feared him. Oh, illegal contact to that, whatever it was, and he still got it. Give him that, that's what they, what's the old, ah! What's the point of doing all that stuff pre-game when he, that was his first catch. His first catch was a high ball. You know, OBJ getting, uh, OBJ's the right uh, wide receiver for you. Because you're always throwing it high or whatever. It, unbelievable, bro. I keep saying one and four in my mind because it don't sound that bad. But we're running out of lives here. We're running out of lives. Oh my God. This man really made a 63-yarder, bro. A 63-yarder. Never in his career, but he makes it now. With space. And watch, he's never going to make another one of those again. Ever. Call me when he does. Call me when he does. And I'll be like, hey, I was wrong? Okay, hey, good stuff. But... <laughs> Maybe it's that Giants' bad luck. We also need to get pressure, bro. Our defensive line wasn't really getting pressure like that. No sacks. Actually, no, we did have a sack. Connor Barwin got Cam. Also, that's the thing, bro. Anybody notice this trend? Michael Rappaport was right. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Michael Rappaport, you know, actor, you know, he's got a book. Oh, LeBron James' book. This book's got... He was like, oh, the, the schedule maker is not a Giants fan. Do you notice that we have a whole bunch of mobile quarter? Had Dak, Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton... Like, yeah, I, I get it. Like, so that was like something we have to worry about, mobile quarterbacks. Because they definitely use that as Cam Newton. <laughs> I said that. Also, that other flower flag, was it? Yeah, the third and 13 one where they called that bull versus Michael Thomas and Collins. Freaking that led to a Christian McCaffrey touchdown. All right, whatever. I'll talk more about it. It's a short week. I'm going to have a video every day. I'm going to have to. So this is this video now. And then, yeah, Sunday. So tomorrow, what am I going to have tomorrow? What, takeaways? I don't know. What's the point? Oh, Ron, you want to... I just put out content for you guys. For the people that really rock with my videos, it's 18... This is going to be like a 20-minute video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could talk about the Giants for hours. I can't squeeze it all into a five-minute video. I'm sorry. If you understand, type candle in the comments. If you got to this part of the video, type the word candle in the comments so I know. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Don't think that I'm ungrateful for the support you guys give. On the road to 100,000 subscribers. Why are the Giants having seasons like this? There's too much talent on the team. But like this guy I used to work with, or a teacher, somebody, I used to hear this, oh, in two years, three years, it's going to matter? Like, pretend, oh, if the Giants win a Super Bowl two years from now, three, when Eli's gone, I, I can't see it. No way. And I'll be even more pissed off out of nowhere Eli starts playing better. Because it'll be like, oh, where was this before? I, it's, <sighs> you've been doing this for 15 seasons, bro. You're only supposed to get better. Veteran experience. Alright, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna bitch up. I'm not gonna bitch up. I was making jokes, oh, if the Giants beat the Eagles, I'll shave my eyebrows. I'll shave my fucking eyebrows off. If the Giants beat the Eagles on Thursday Night Football, I'll shave my fucking eyebrows off. Hold me to that. Hold me to that. I, I can't see it happening. Oh, Ryan, no fate, bro. I, I can't. 
<laughs> you know, I shouldn't even say that. I should delete that part of the video because watch it. Eli's going to turn all super or whatever. We win and then it's going to go back to losing. I say if they make the playoffs. Giants make the playoffs, I'll shave them off. Because it takes a very long time for your eyebrows to grow back. And I'll sport it. I'll tell you, where are your eyebrows at? My guy, like, any stranger on me? Hey, the Giants make the playoffs or whatever. Oh, you lost a bet? Yeah. Oh, so what's your favorite team? The Giants? Da, da, da. And then I'll explain it. So I shouldn't even say that one game. But I, I don't know. You know what? No. This video going to be as long as it's going to be. Whatever. But yeah, if you watch this whole thing, you're a real one. I shouldn't even put that cold word, old candle. Some people are just like, okay, whatever. They don't even know what it means. Oh, that first seven they got, that was some very poor tackling. That's what I mean by first half. Oh, first half, second half, or whatever. And that first half, that first touchdown Carolina got, some very, very poor tackling. You got to wrap up. I don't know what y'all doing using y'all shoulders. Wrap up. Somebody tried to tell me before when I was talking about Kareem Jackson or whatever, when, you know, oh, Evan Ingram got hurt out for whatever amount of weeks, and then Saquon came up limping, oh, that's textbook tackling. Oh, I know you ain't played ball. When I played football, younger, Pop one, I wasn't very good, but it never said nothing about no shoulder. We always wrapped up. We always wrapped up. Use your arms. You don't just, this is not Madden. I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The video's over. You guys discuss it. I probably, I might, probably won't even look at the comments because I can't. I can't. I'm not going to let somebody 10,000, uh, 2,000 miles away on a computer. Nah, definitely not. If you want to talk that crap, when you see me at a Giants event, tell me how you feel or whatever. Oh, Giants, uh, da, da, And then, yeah, because nobody ever say anything in public. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. Like, if you ever saw me, you'd be like, not saying anything or whatever. You don't say the dumps. Because I'll debate anybody about anything. I'll debate a Giants fan, too. Like, I, ugh, whatever. I don't even... Don't even, I don't have time. Thank you for the real ones. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, we got early football. So yeah, four days from now, expect like three videos. Yeah, I'm gonna have like a bunch of, you'll, you'll see. Hit that shout out to notification gang. Love you all. Like, subscribe, share. Till next time, Jersey. So I stay You ain't even playing the game and you talking like you skip Bayless. Criticize he who made it, calling it entertainment. Difference with you and Skip is you ain't the one getting payments.